Joe Carlson at Buffalo High School with our senior profile series this week, and today talk with Brian Pettit. And Brian, first of all, we'll talk about the different types of uh, activities that you enjoy. Um, I'm part of the uh, high school swim team, and I enjoy hunting outside of school and running and biking and always just working out in any way I possibly can. So let's get back to swimming. When did you start swimming, and what was the inspiration for that? Uh, I started swimming my freshman year, and the inspiration was my cousin who swam against our rival team, St. Michael. He really told me how much fun and what a good sport it was, and finally got me into it, so I decided to join. What do you think students miss when they don't get involved in a sport? You know, they miss uh, like the team bonding and connecting, and um, you know, meeting people you you know in school you'd see, but you wouldn't know they're part of a team, and just you know, getting really close with other people it, it helps. Outside of school, you enjoy the, the hunting, so let's talk about how that interest came about. Well, my dad and my grandpa always have hunted their whole lives, and, you know, finally I got sucked into deer hunting, and once I got my license, I'd go as much as I can. You know, I would uh, pheasant hunt, uh, prairie dog hunt in Montana with my grandfather, and, um, yeah, it's a really fun time. That's going to be interesting, to prairie dog hunt out in Montana. Yeah, it's a unique thing. I'm not, you know, not a lot of people get the chance to do it. And, you know, my grandfather had the property, so we always had a good time with it. Hard to believe you're already a senior? Yeah, this, uh, this, these four years have flown by very fast, definitely. So what advice would you have for someone just starting high school? You know, I'd say the homework is going to start piling up the more, you know, each with each grade. And I'd say just keep at it and listen to all the advice your teachers have because every teacher has been through it too and they know what's going on. So. Talking about the, the studies, what's your favorite area of study and why? I would say as much, actually as much as I don't like it, my favorite is math because where I'm going in life I'll need to know math skills and it's always good to have a good teacher to teach me you know what's the right and wrong of math so now is math something that has been easy for you or is that something that you've really had to work with you know it's kind of in both ways some subjects like higher algebra you know stuff like that i that's clicked pretty easily with me but once i got into like trigonometry and geometry i that's when i have to struggle and need a lot of help from the teachers so you talked a little bit about your future plan, needing mathematics, so let's talk about your college plan. Uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to be going to St. Cloud Community Tech College for um, electrical construction because I'm hoping in the future to get into Xcel Energy, which my uh, father works at right now. So. so if you were to look at electrical construction, what, what kind of things do you do? Uh, you know, wiring up houses. There's, there's, you know, it's a broad subject, so, you know, I could be... I don't know. It's such a broad field. It's really, you know. So I, I'm just kind of wondering, is it something where you're working with on the power lines, or are you doing residential stuff, commercial stuff, or do you have to do a, a mix of everything? Um, I could be working for the city lines. Like, my father, he works for, like, when there's power outages, he finds the faults and wires and cables, and that's kind of what I want to get into. So I'd be working in, in the downtown areas, you know, working under the streets, fixing up old equipment, new equipment, so, yeah. When did that interest come to you and say, this is what I want to do? Well, I always realized that I just like being outside working with my hands. And, you know, an office job was not for me. And my dad kept saying, you know, electrical is always a great opportunity. There's always going to be a job for it because everyone needs their electrical. So I thought I'd go into that. Well, good luck with your future plan. Yeah, thank you very much. Again, talking today with Brian Pettit at Buffalo High School on today's Senior Profile. Senior profiles here on KRWC can be heard twice daily, first in the morning at 625, then once again in the afternoon at 425. Today's Buffalo High School Senior Profile is brought to you by Coburn's in downtown Buffalo.